Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is so Jo Seyan, and my topic today is about physical differences between races. Here, I'm not talking about racism, but it's rather like a matter of how their different physical traits have formed. Firstly, I'm going to talk about skin colors, and then I'm going to tell you about the difference in digestive enzyme lactose right in here. <laughs> so, first thing today, skin colors. Well, the earliest humans evolved in a high ultraviolet radiation environment near the equator. So to keep their body temperature low, their, the, the number of sweat glands on their skin increased and the amount of body hair on their body decreased. These changes helped them to adapt to this hot environment quickly, but the less hair made their skin exposed to too much ultraviolet, ultraviolet radiation from the sun, which might cause skin cancers and other skin diseases. Okay, so to avoid this damage, the amount of melanin, the skin's brown pigment, which blocks sunlight, overproduce sunlight from the sun, increased in, the, in their skin. And as a result, their skin darkened. On the other hand, people who migrated to quarter geographic zones with low ultraviolet level, they developed lighter skin color. In other words, the amount of melanin in their skin decreased. Lighter skin color allowed sunlight to penetrate into their skin and produce vitamin D, which is very essential to human life. D. D. <laughs> and I will move on to second point, which is the enzyme lactase, which digests the main sugar lactose in milk. How many of you here have a problem digesting milk? Well, I definitely do. And in fact, as soon as I drink a cup of milk, I feel like going to the toilet. And so, according, uh, and interestingly, then I found out that this was related to my topic as well. According to the anthropologist Marvin Harris, uh, the enzyme red taste stops being produced when the person is between two and five years old. However, lactose persistence which the enzyme continues to be produced and allows people to digest milk, occurs to more than 90% of white people and their descendants, while it only occurs to only about 5% of Asian people and 25% of black people. And in the meanwhile, we could connect this fact to our first point, which is that um, white people might lag in vitamin D from the production of sunlight, and they could the better if they could ingest other nutrients like calcium as well as vitamin D from the dairy <laughs> products like milk. So I talked about two main things. First, skin colors and the ability to digest milk. So my topic was about physical differences between races. I want to point out that these physical differences are not caused by, um, are caused by different environment they live in, not genetic causes. So, I wish you the best day today, and thank you.